Hi. In this video, I want to show you something a little bit different. This is doing some kind of generative AV art music, something or other. I don't know what you call this stuff, but it's um, using Max MSP, Ableton Live, and Strata, uh, a built application made with Unity, um, communicating via UDP networking. So I am going to show you, and I actually did a video on the channel of me just kind of improvising with this for four minutes so you can see the kind of the product. But this is basically, so we have Max, uh, we have Ableton Live is just sequencing pitches, right? So we stay on one note and then we start changing notes and we go back to one note. Um, and then that is, this is actually Max for Live, uh, which is the integration of uh, Max into Ableton. And then this, so the audio is all coming from Max MSP. So the audio is all being generated in Max MSP. Um, and there's basically two uh, sine wave synthesizers and one kind of noise-based synthesizer. So, and then that is triggering, uh, sending messages uh, via UDP here with this UDP send object from Max uh, over to uh, a built application that uses strata to generate these kind of pictures. They're not really levels, they're more like sort of drawings or something. So I'll just play a little bit and show you how it works. So here we have, we can see the notes are coming from Ableton, um, getting processed in Max. In this case, I'm messing with the time a little bit. I'm adding like a number of milliseconds to delay the kick. So you can hear the doop, 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 doop. It's like not um, metronomically regular. And then uh, we're turning the, changing the MIDI to a frequency, using that to drive over here a sine wave oscillator. This is the amplitude envelope for it. So I'm kind of playing around with that while the patch is playing. And then there's this kind of metronome thing here doing these kind of almost like drum rolls. It's this, and this is getting a little randomization too. It's getting sequenced. So you can hear this kind of like, and we can control how much the metronome, how basically this, the tempo of the trills here. Then there's this sequenced, uh, Basically white noise uh, with a little envelope. Here's the envelope. And then this is running through a resonant bandpass filter here, which is being automated um, by this. So basically there's some I'm using a, a table of data up here. I won't go like too in depth on this, but I figure people might be interested. Here's the data, right? So this is, I just scribbled in here to get some random values. Um, and then that's driving the delay, the filter, a couple of other things. So it's all kind of the data is like all working together. Um, and then I'm like messing around with the, um, with the kick drum here. You know, messing with the amplitude envelope basically. Um, and that's just a sine wave here that's just doing a, a little glissando downwards, a little pitch bend downwards, which is what makes it kind of kick like. Um, so yeah, the way that this is set up is that we have note data coming from live, uh, audio coming from Max MSP, and then the basically the signal that triggers the kick and a bunch of the other events is also sending out a message via UDP. And that is going to Unity, or the built Unity application in this case. And here, I just am using this UDP client script, which is from the asset store, actually. It's called UDP Messenger, it costs 10 bucks. I started to write something myself. There's a lot of stuff online about how to send UDP data, but it's not that easy. And I figured rather than spending a few hours, I could pay $10 and get it from the asset store. And it works great. It just works basically. And so you specify the port you want to listen to, right? So that has to match 
uh, the port in Max, right? I'm sending to my local IP at port 7400, and then I'm listening to port 7400. And basically, it uses send message to send a message to a number of objects. This color changer is actually not doing anything. Um, so it's basically just sending to the strata tile map. It's sending the clear and rebuild, which is just regenerating the, uh, the map in real time every time more or less the kick drum sound would be triggered. Um, and then I just built that into an application so I could have it full screen, um, you know, without the, seeing the Unity editor there. Um, and then just kind of noodle around with the settings and then just record in OBS. It was pretty fun. I think uh, I figure, I don't know if that's interesting to you. Uh, let me know in the comments if it is. Uh, if you found this interesting, um, feel free to subscribe and give the video a like and all that stuff. And yeah, if you want to see more sort of, I figure the folks who are interested in procedural generation in games might also be interested in some procedural audio and other types of weird stuff. So, uh, you know, figured I would show you guys what I've been, what I've been up to. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.